strong. Welcome back to Sai 3 Coding. In this video, I'll show you how to do a snake game on CryptoBlox. First, we can make our sprite snake. So, just do the mouse cursor on choose the sprite and click paint. Now choose circle and draw a small circle. I'll adjust its size. Make sure that there should be no outline. Now I'll rename the sprite as snake. Now I'll choose backdrop. I'm going to choose blue sky 2 as backdrop. If you want, you can choose some other one as backdrop. Now we can make variables. First variable is direction. And second one is length. Now we can choose the food for snake which is apple. I'm going to choose apple. If you want, you can choose some other fruit. I'll reduce its size. Okay, now I will hide both variables. First, we can do code for snake. So, first go to control, sorry, go to events and drag and drop when space key pressed. Duplicate it for three times. The first one, when up arrow key press the direction to up. The next one is down arrow. So set direction to down. Next one is right arrow and set direction to right. Last one is left arrow. So go to events and drag and drop when ring flag click. Now take show from looks and also take switch backdrop to blue sky 2 and now go to variables and drag and drop set direction to and set direction to right.
Next one is go to x, y. So both x and y should be at zero, which is center. Now drag and drop forever. And also insert it then. Take four if then blocks and put it inside forever. Now go to operator and drag around to and put it into all if then block which is inside forever. And now go to variables and drag and drop direction and insert in all. Next, if direction is equal to up, change y by 5. And duplicate this block. If direction is equal to down, next change y by minus 5. Next, if direction is equal to right, then change x by 5. I duplicate this block and if direction is equal to left, next change x by minus 5. And at last, click create clone of myself from controls block. Next, drag and drop when I start as a clone. And go to controls and drag and drop weight one second. Now drag and drop length from variables. Next, we can do code for apple. For this, first drag and drop when green flag clicks. Next, drag and drop show. And drag and drop set direction to and change it as length and set length to zero. Now drag and drop go to x, y from motion. And drag and drop pick random 1 to 10 from operators. Put it in both x and y. In x, it should be. 240 to 240 and y it should be 180 to minus 180 180 to minus 180 now duplicate this block Now drag and drop forever and also insert if then block inside it. Now go to sensing and drag and drop touching mouse pointer. Change this as snake. Print rename your the sprite as snake. No problem. Here will come uh, touching sprite one. Choose that option. Now drag and drop change direction by 1 and change it as length by 0 0.1 now let's go to x y go to x y pick now the minus 240 and y 182 minus 180 we should duplicate it now again click snake and in this, choose when green flag clicks forever. 
if then if touching edge then broadcast game over and hi let us add stop all and go to apple now like when i receive game over hi now we can make the backdrop game over. And type as game over. I'll change its font style to marker. And I will also change its color. I will change this color to green. And go to looks. And drag it up, switch backdrop to blue sky and put it under hide and change it as backdrop one. Sorry, I forgot to add the latest clone under when I set as clone and wait 11 seconds. Now add daily this clone. Let's see how the game works. If you see, that is the apple, its length, length of the snake increases. And if you just touch the edge, it is just for the band drop, game over. Thanks for watching guys, if you like this video, like it, share it. And don't forget to subscribe our channel, Fast Recording. See you next video guys.